The big crowd is settled back again and waiting for the second heat. There have been no scratches, so it'll be 23 three-year-olds battling for the money again. Despite his failure in the first heat, the crowd still likes Newport Star and has installed him as the eight to five choice. If Moore sent over, second choice now at seven to two wins this one, it's all over. And if he doesn't, the whole field comes back again. And if still another horse wins the third heat, those three come back to race it off. That's more sent over now. Nice looking cold, isn't it? The crowd is tense, eager, expectant. Anything can happen on Hamiltonian Day, and usually does. Been on helicopter. And now, 29-year-old Harry Harvey, who lost his hat in the stirring stretch drive, enters the winner's circle with helicopter, and Bill Kane gives him a smiling, well done. Helicopter is owned by the Armstrong brothers, J. Elgin and C.E., from Brampton, Ontario. She was 17th in the first heat, and as part of the Miller Stable entry in the second heat, paid 13.30 to win. The mile was in 2-2 and 4 fifths. L.B. Hanover was second, Singing Sword third, Newport Star fourth, and Morse Hanover went in the first heat, 11th, after a first turn jam that caused him to go off stride. Helicopter is one of three horses from the Dale Miller Stable entered in the race. The others are Singing Sword and Sir Lowwater. Miller told friends last weekend that if Helicopter got the break, she'd be tough. As usual, he knew what he was talking about. In the paddock, busy grooms administer to the needs of their horses. It's about time for the third heat now, and Kimberly Kidd, who's had tough sledding so far, gets a last-minute facial from his groom, Old Turk. Time is fast running out on those horses that haven't yet won a heat. Out of the paddock they come, with Harry Harvey and Helicopter leading the way. If either Helicopter or more Senover wins this heat, the race is over. If another horse wins it, the three heat winners come back for a date with a winner's share of the record jackpot. Helicopter, incidentally, is a daughter of Hootman, the 1947 Hamiltonian winner. No winner has yet sired a winner, but that jinx could be broken here today. Three horses, Sir Lullwater, Peter Nibble, and Express Covey have been scratched. There are 20 left in the field, and they're going away in as beautiful a start as Good Time Park has ever seen. Helicopter is away well along the rail, and Morrison over is right in behind her. L.B. Hanover rushes for the lead as they get away, but Helicopter is well placed, and so are the other contenders. Kimberly Kidd draws out to challenge L.B. Hanover as they round the turn, with Helicopter at Ur, Aerial Gunner, and Singing Sword right there. Even the Railbirds seem to sense that this is the big one. And now, once again, it's that last half mile where class, breeding, and driving skill combine to separate the champions from the rest of the pack. Singing Sword is on top with a lure second, Kimberly Kidd third, Helicopter fourth, and Nelby Hanover fifth. Horse Hanover is ninth. As they straighten out on the long stretch that leads to the three-quarter pole, Kimberly Kidd goes out to test Singing Sword, and Helicopter ducks in behind him. The last quarter mile now, and it's Singing Sword and Kimberly Kidd neck and neck with an oar, and helicopter right back of them. Horse Hanover is too far back, he's out of it. Only three sixteenths remaining, and all which stables Kimberly Kidd carves out a lead over Singing Sword. The latter appears out of it as helicopter comes up on the outside, but Kimberly Kidd is bravely holding her off. Kimberly Kidd and helicopter battling it out neck and neck, head and head, nose and nose. It looks like Kimberly Kidd is going to win it as he holds Kimberly to that slight lead. But no, Kimberly Kidd has gone off stride. And as Tommy Berry saws at the reins to get him back trotting again, helicopter sweeps past him. Here they come, head on. Watch Kimberly Kidd near the rail. Go off stride. See, there he goes. And helicopter wins it. The ninth Billy and the first Canadian trotter ever to cop the classic. And Harry Harvey, 29, and just six years off of Waterbury, Vermont Farm, is the youngest driver ever to win the race. Helicopter's marching is ahead over Kimberly Kidd, driven by Tommy Berry, for whom Harvey used to work. The Philly paid 480 as the favorite. Singing Sword was third. The mile was clocked in 2 2 and 3 fifths. And helicopter share of the purse is a fat $63,000. Hey, these Phillies are doing all right, too. Mrs. J. E. Armstrong and her husband and brother in law congratulate their driver as the spectators look on in the proof. 
Trophy time now, and driver Dale Miller, who trained helicopter, ducks out of the picture and lets his boy Harvey take all the bow. Mr. Armstrong has a few things to say, and that's either about his Billy and Harvey. And still more posing to the official then. The end of a perfect day for Canada, for Harry Harvey and Dale Miller, and for this wonderful Billy walking back to a rub down and the thickly bedded stone.